One of our shiuch was telling us one time, subhanAllah, he's, a, he's a, at the same time, he's a doctor and he's a sheikh, mashallah. And he was uh, going through his visits uh, in the hospital and he saw uh, a young man on, in, in his bed and he looks like, you know, uh, a little bit يعني, sad. So his brother was next to him, you know, talking to him and everything. And uh, he said, what's wrong? He said, Allah, he, the brother's telling him, you know, Sheikh, my brother had a major accident and uh, he cannot walk anymore. So he's, he's, uh, he's very upset. So uh, the, the Sheikh started, you know, joking around with him. Inshallah, don't worry. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, he is the Hakim. You know, he's trying to make him feel better. And then he said something that made the guy in bed cry like crazy. He said, you know, be grateful to Allah because maybe if you were, you know, if you were able to walk, you might use these legs in something that is haram, that is disobedient to Allah Azza wa Jal. And all of a sudden, that young man was crying hysterically in bed. So the brother came immediately, took the sheikh and took him out of the room. He said, what did I say wrong? <laughs> I'm trying to make him feel better. I don't want him to cry. Listen, ya Akhwan. Why is the guy crying? It turned out, <laughs> subhanAllah, he said, the brother told the sheikh, he said, my brother is the best dancer in Riyadh. Is the best dancer. Every time we go to parties and stuff, everybody asks him to dance. So subhanAllah, the sheikh hit the nerve, yani, by, by just by saying something, you could have used it for haram, huh? If you were giving that, and he was, it turned out that he was using it for haram. <laughs> so that being in bed, subhanAllah, without legs, you know, probably the best thing that could ever happen to the, to the brothers, you know. So we, we have no, uh, we have no clue what, where is the hikmah, but we have not only a clue, we have certainty that the hakim did it. We might not have a clue. Where is the hikmah or what's the hikmah? What's the wisdom behind this? But I have no doubt in my heart that the Hakim is the one who did it. I was telling uh, the brothers today about a quick story and I told them on, on Sunday. One of our brothers, uh, he was young, maybe around 2010. Uh, he was traveling from uh, New York to Pennsylvania to take a class, Islamic class. Yani. And uh, on his way there, you know, it's an open street 95. Uh, if anybody traveled on 95, it's very, very open, you know. So he was speeding, long story short, he got a speeding ticket. And the speeding ticket is very expensive, 300 something dollars, very expensive, okay? So the, as a student, $300 is a lot of money. You know, for a student, it's a lot of money. So he was very upset. He was telling me, Sheikh, no, look what happened. Alhamdulillah, qadrallah, mashafa, inshallah, khair. Long story short, uh, three, four years ago, huh? three, four years ago, they came with a law that he was illegal. The, the brother was illegal. They came with a law that if you were here in 2010 or 12, huh, you will, we will give you two, three years to stay and fix your papers. But you have to prove that you are here. The only proof that he has that he was here in 2010 was a speeding ticket. <laughs> at that time, the speeding ticket was the worst thing that ever time happened to him. Now he's looking at the speeding ticket. <laughs> Allahu Akbar. $300 is nothing now. Right? But the moment, Ya Akhwan, this is what we have to believe. This is what we have to believe. At that moment, I have to believe that it's khair. I know it's very hard. But as a believer... We have to believe it's khair, whether I know it or not. Because the one who's designing this is Al-Alim, Al-Hakim, Al-Khabir. Huh? So, Al-Wadud, Ar-Ham, Ar-Rahimin, right? SubhanAllah.